Firefox is breaking up with Google, and Amazon has a robot army. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. For the past 10 years, the default search engine on Firefox has been Google, but in December, it's changing to Yahoo. Mozilla, the company behind the Firefox web browser, has made a five-year deal for Yahoo to be the default in that little search box on the right-hand top corner. And with that deal, Yahoo will support Do Not Track technology for anyone searching through Firefox, and that honors preferences to not be tracked for advertising purposes. You can still change your default search if you don't like Yahoo, but there will be people who don't change the default, and Yahoo will obviously gain more search traffic from this. Right now, only 10% of searches are done on Yahoo. What you may not realize is that Firefox made most of its money from Google. A few years ago, it was estimated that Google paid about $100 million a year to be the default on Firefox. But Things are changing. Google may not want to play nice with Firefox when it's trying to grow the competing Chrome browser. And Yahoo, now led by a former Google executive, Marissa Meyer, is making deals for Yahoo to become a leader in search once again. This holiday shopping season, Amazon is enlisting some robots to help get the gifts out in time. The Wall Street Journal reports that several Amazon warehouses have these large, squat-shaped, orange rolling robots that will move shelves of products to the human workers to save time so people don't have to walk as much. With these bots, Amazon's employees are expected to pick and scan 300 items an hour, up from 100 items without the bots. Amazon keeps trying new things to speed up delivery. You've heard about the drones, but the company's also testing the use of taxi cabs to deliver packages. Speed is vital for Amazon to stay competitive when you have retail stores offering same-day delivery and also price-matching Amazon. Nothing makes a techie cringe quite like a shattered smartphone screen. There's a chance that your next phone may be just a little more protected from cracking. Corning, the maker of Gorilla Glass, which is the glass in most phones, including iPhones, has created a new material that's about twice as tough as the current edition, but don't get too excited. Here's what the phone makers don't tell you. When Gorilla Glass gets stronger, the phone makers use an even thinner slice of the glass so the phone is lighter, but the glass being thinner is no more shatterproof than the previous edition. I hope that changes because I think people rather have screens be stronger instead of thinner. That's your tech news update, but there's always more tech goodness at CNET.com. In New York, I'm Bridget Carey.